Good afternoon, traders. Welcome to this week's Elliott Wave Forex and Cryptocurrency Market Analysis Webinar. I hope you're all having a great Sunday and you've had a wonderful week. Right, so let's get started with uh, this week's analysis. So as, as I was uh, busy preparing for the webinar to, for, for today, I went through some of the past videos just to look at how the analysis uh, has been playing out, especially that we, analysis that we do on the daily. It's easy to do an analysis and then you, you don't keep track of what you analyze and what you focused a couple of months back. So I was looking at this specific video. If you can go and check it on my channel, uh, if you go on my channel, you'll find this video on the 22nd to the 26th of August. So you go to the S&P 500, basically all the indices. But this is what I've been talking about uh, on the indices. Uh, when I said most of the people thought the indices were crashing during towards the end of 2018. And uh, the analysis was very clear that uh, this was not a crash, but rather a corrective structure. So you can go and watch um, those videos. You just, and it's, it's easier because we've got try timestamps there. So under the description of the video, if you go down to the timestamps and you go to S&P 500, there's a timestamp there, which will take you straight to that analysis. So as you'll see there, this is what, the, what we had as a wave three and a four. So we had to adjust this to go there and then push up higher to all time high. So a lot of people were panicking when this was coming down here. This is me now. Okay, so what is, whatever is playing right now is what I was annotating during uh, that webinar last year in October. So you can see that we were looking, okay, I'm just gonna be narrating, I'm not annotating. That is what the analysis was last uh, at, at, at the time. So what you see there on the red, the first is the first correction W and then the X, and then the Y, so that's what we looked at. So you see the first part there was a three wave ABC and we expected the same three waves ABC on the last swing. That is the last part of the corrective structure and we looked at the whole thing. Uh, we moved that wave four to the end there. So that means that the whole correction was a flat correction with three waves in the middle that is your X and then your Y, then we, would ex we expected the all-time highs. Now, this is where we are right now. Uh, sorry, we have not broken the all-time highs yet. So we're very close to breaking the all-time highs here. Okay, and that was the expectation as you can see there. That's the corrective structure. So even when this was coming down here, there was no need to panic because we could see that this was the way for, even if, it, even if this broke this level here and then went up, that is still valid because now it made an expanding flat. As you can see, it broke the top here, and then it also came and broke the bottom here. If you go to the charts now, that is exactly how that has played out, and we are now almost hitting the new all-time highs. So the same is the same goes for all the indices. Go and watch all the indices in October, and you'll see that is exactly how the forecast played out. So this is just to show that when you've got the right structure right and you understand the theory correctly, yeah, you'll be able to focus it correctly. All right, so let's uh, get that post and uh, let's get started with uh, today's analysis. Okay, let's get started. So what I have here is Audi JPY, but we're not gonna start with Audi JPY. We're gonna start with, crypto, with the cryptocurrencies as always. Uh, we're gonna start with Bitcoin. Uh, so for those that want information on the cost, so the, the next cost is only going to be in June, we'll announce the, the date, uh, but for now in the, in the next uh, two months, we're not gonna have the course. Uh, what you have, if you want uh, to join us, you'll only have the videos, but the videos are exactly the same content uh, that we cover during the live course. So for now, we are not going to have any live courses up until June. So the focus now is for the members in the group to make sure that they are conversant with the theory. We give them a bit of uh, attention. Uh, and assistance. So that's why we're not gonna have the cost for the next couple of uh, weeks. All right, so let's get started. We're gonna start with Bitcoin. More information on that, you send me an email and I'll give you all the details. All right, so let's go to Bitcoin. Everybody happy so far?
Let me get started now. That's good. All right, so we're gonna start with Bitcoin. Uh, this is the chart of Bitcoin. This is the four hour. Let's uh, first go back again to the higher time frame and just show the structure that we looked at for a couple of months and how that has played out. Uh, like I was showing you on the indices, the long term forecast. So I need to show you what we've been looking at on Bitcoin as well. Uh, but Bitcoin, I've been showing this one almost on a weekly basis. So let's have a look here at the structure for Bitcoin. So this is on the daily now. So Bitcoin started with this move. Uh, let me take everything off here and just look at the structure itself. So we, I've been showing this for the last couple of weeks as well. So this is the swing up here on Bitcoin. It comes down here in three waves. Why do I say three waves? It's because you've got a passive move down, you've got a corrective move up and a passive move down. So this is a three wave move, okay? Let me make this with a straight line. So this is a three wave move. And then it pulls back with the same move again. Uh, it's actually, we're gonna we're gonna change the color there and make it blue. So we pull back in blue there. All right. So that pull back in blue, I actually rather would use green because I think it's more visible. So we pull back in green there. So that green is still the same degree as this. So we had this correction making a one, two, three wave move to the downside here. But when this structure was playing out here, I thought there was still one more down that we're gonna get here. Okay. So this is what I had the structure S here, all right? And then we expected that we're gonna have this move to the upside, which is this green move. Whether it was gonna take the top or not, didn't matter. So what we expected was that this was gonna do this. And after that is done, we expected that we're gonna have that red move to finally play out again, as close as possible to the downside. And then we go, okay? Uh, that is not the right degree, and then the, the right degree will be the yellow. Then we'll be done with this corrective structure. So that is how simple Bitcoin is right now. Okay, so now what has happened here is that this move here, let's look at this move that we will expect it to drop. So this was the one, this is what looks like, it looked like it was making a two and a three, right? So that is why I expected that we're gonna have one more down to come and complete this green before we get this move to the upside. Okay, so what we didn't realize was that this move was actually completed here. That's why we did not get this one more down here. Okay, so that, that's, that doesn't really matter. Okay, because the move that you're looking for, the big move that you're looking for is this one. And that's why I've been saying uh, from the beginning of the year that it's actually time to start holding the cryptocurrencies long term. Okay, so that's what we're looking at here now. So we're gonna to go to the four hour. It has not changed anything. It, the only thing that has changed is that instead of this not giving us one more down, it has started a move right at this structure. So let's just make a quick small adjustment there. So that is what you have there. And you're still expecting this green. And that is why you have this move to the upside. That is what you still have. You still expect that, and you expect the very same red move, which is this one, to come down. I'm, I'm being very careful not to drop it below zero because some people are very uh, sensitive with that. <laughs> Obviously, we don't expect Bitcoin or any cryptocurrency to go below zero. So that's why I'm making sure, even though this is just an annotating tool. All right, so that's what we're gonna be expecting. What does this structure look like? It's a simple, let's label it. It's a simple W, that's three waves down, X and a Y, okay? With a green, it's an A, it's a B, it's a C. You see, not, nothing much has changed except you did not get the one more down that we were looking for here, all right? So that's this A, B, C. Now, why do I say this is a whole B move? Now, I'm gonna use the blue color, or this uh, blue color. I'm a bit colorblind, so I'm not sure if that is blue sky blue or whatever. All right, so you have this as a three-way move here. So you've got to move here. You've got one, two, three, and then move here. So you've got here one, two, three, and that is a running flat in the middle here. So that green is, has got a running flat in there. I'm gonna use a different color in there to show that. One, two, three. So that is the structure. 
So if you wanted to label that even more, it would be a W, X, Y move inside there. See, getting in more detail here, blue here, you also need to label that. And that would be an ABC move. Don't ask me what the difference is, why I'm using ABC and WXY. There's a difference between ABC and WXY moves, and that is what we cover during the course. All right, and that's what uh, is on the course videos. All right, so you've got ABC. So this process can go on and on, 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 all the way down now. What is the whole structure here? Is, is this structure complete? Now, it is not complete. You still have this big move here. The first one that ended in 2018. So this is the move and we call that A. And the whole move here is a B wave. Showing me that it's a higher degree. Now I've given you a little bit of more information that, than I would usually uh, with this analysis. This is how we analyze this uh, long-term analysis coming down from or historical analysis coming down to the lowest time frame. Now this is A, B, C in the higher degree. Everything else is just folding in into the smaller time frames. The same, very same thing can just spiral out as the cycles go out. Okay, so you can see now you've got analysis for the next five years on the cryptocurrencies. All right, so let's have a look here. We're gonna go here into the lower time frame and see whether we're gonna get a move up, uh, continuation there. It looks like we're gonna have some continuation there. Let's have a look in the four hour chart time frame. Right, four hour. So four hour looks like we're making a corrective structure. We have made this passing move. We're making one, we're making two, we're making three. Is this now gonna make a move here and then we start going from there? There's a possibility that this can take the low here first by doing this, 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 down here, and then we go. This is a corrective structure. That means continuation pattern. This is still gonna go up. Okay, you'll see it by breaking above here. Either that or this is actually the one that's gonna go from here, okay? So that is Bitcoin and uh, Litecoin. Litecoin, let's have a look at uh, Litecoin structure. So Litecoin structure, let's go look at it on the, on the daily. The reversal we marked a long time ago around this area, you can go we can go and watch these previous videos. And the nice thing, nice thing about these videos is that you can just go and click on the specific analysis uh, previously that we've, that we've looked at. Now here we looked at this as a regular flat here. But this is actually not a regular flat. So this is a three wave move down, a pullback, and then we expected this one to be another wave to the downside. So we forecasted this reversal around this area when way before it happened and now we've got this move here so when it started here as well same same as bitcoin you started with a three-way move i'm going to take this off and this is why you've got more than one alternative and you could not have done anything about this that is what the structure was giving you and that is what you could see so here you had a three-way move up a three-way pullback and another three-way up so after that move i expected that we're going to have one more down and then still go up. But that was not gonna change anything about the reversal area. It was gonna be, go retest the blue box and then we get the move to the upside. Okay, so now what we have here, let's just show the where the, the blue box is. So the blue box was there. That is not projected after the fact. It was projected way before that came down to that level. Uh, and now we've got that move to the upside. Now we need to see whether we're getting continuation pattern here uh, or for, for, for further upside. Let's have a look in the four hour. All right, so the four hour. So in the four hour similar, we've got a similar structure to Bitcoin. One, two, three, expecting possibly pushed to the upside as looking at this as an expanding flat. So there's a likelihood that this may uh, do this first and then go up here, push a little bit higher. Let's see how that plays out. Okay, so that is a light coin. Ethereum, same structure as Bitcoin. Same structure as Bitcoin on Ethereum. So you're also expecting here, this to be a expanding flat. Is it gonna go from here? Uh, that's the first alternative, or is it gonna come down here? First retest the low before it makes a move here like that. So let's have a look how that plays out. 
that is uh, Ethereum, and then lastly on the cryptos, uh, Ripple. Ripple has made that impulsive move that we wanted, but it did it before coming down to the low that we wanted it to go to. Let's go to the daily. Right, the daily on Ripple. Let's see the whole view here. So I've adjusted the structure on Ripple like this. It is no longer going to be a W, X, Y, X, Z as we anticipated, but we're expecting that this to be, okay, let me show this structure. Let me show this structure. Okay, so we're going to look at this as a bigger structure. Oh, why did that come off? The W is the X, so Y there. Let's change this. Make this blue degree. Make that primary degree. So you have, we remove that. It is no longer a W, X, Y, X, Z because that X, this X and this X are not in the same degree. There's somebody, uh, there is not even our group who has spotted this and mentioned this. So we were still expecting that this was going to make the same move as this. So that was going to be one, two, three. And then we're going to have this looking like this, down, and then like that. So that was going to be a W, X, Y. You will see that nothing in terms of the structure has changed eh? uh, in terms of the bias, uh, except you'll see what I mean by that. W, X, Y, X, Z. So now we were looking at that to be another X, but if this was going to be in the same degree as that, so it is not. So we are now going to look at it as a W, X, Y, with this just being the lower degree. And then we're going to put in that lower degree there, uh, W, X, Y. So that lower degree will be something like this. Exchange, that will be intermediate degree, uh, yellow. So, we can see what is going on there. It's easier like that. You've got three waves down here. All of that three waves is represented by the W. The whole structure that we're expecting here, even we're expecting that this is gonna give us a structure like this. So that whole thing is a corrective structure for the whole move. So we'll expect the last down before we go. Okay, so that is the structure that we're looking at. We're looking for a move to the upside. We're gonna retest this top here. On the daily, but let's see what's happening in the lower time frame first. For our easy structure, this, huh? all right. So that is uh, what it will look like there. And if you wanted to put in more, this would be like this. This will actually be an ABC move, not a WXY. What are we expecting there? ABC, A, B, C. Okay, so that's the ABC move there. And then we'll expect another WXY move or another ABC move there. The expectation is this here, we can expect that. And then we can expect that. That is how the structure should look like. Okay, so let's go to the lower time frame for our Now on the four hour, you can see that we've got a similar structure to Bitcoin. Is this going to push up? This, we cannot really look at as an expanding flat because this is not a corrective structure, but an impulsive structure. You need to have your B, if this is your A, B, you need to have your B being uh, rather corrective, but this is rather impulsive. So this may be your orthodox top here and not here. So that will be the move here. It looks like you've got one, two, three. You may have one here and we start making a cor another corrective structure here. Okay, but the idea is for us to go to retest the top here. So whether this is gonna come down here now, for this one, we need to see first. Okay, so let's have a look and see what other that goes on. This is not clear at this stage, you don't wanna trade here, you don't have any setup for a buy or a sell there. So rather look at the other cryptocurrencies.
All right, so let's look at the uh, indices. The indices are from the beginning of the year. I have been saying, I've been analyzing it very simply. Just look for pullback. Uh, that's all I've been saying. Just look for pullbacks for entries. Let's look at the S&P 500. That's all I've been saying since the beginning of the year. They have been on a bull run from the beginning of January as anticipated. And you'll see that we did not only expect this bull run from when it started. We expected that bull run when this looked like it was crashing. Okay? So as I always say, so the idea is not to prove anybody wrong or think that you've got a best, best, better strategy. The, the idea is to uh, do analysis and show that this Elliott Wave theory actually works and you can actually be profitable using it. And that is all I apply here. I just apply the rules and the guidelines as Elliott has identified and analyzed in his theory. Okay? Uh, so um, a lot of people ask me, where did I learn the Elliott Wave theory? I learned from the books that Elliott lent himself. Okay, obviously, like anybody else would have, I would have, I, I exhausted Google trying to learn the theory, but uh, I realized that there's a whole lot of information that you find on uh, the internet, and now uh, the challenge will always be how do you filter the right from the wrong. I can just decide to go and put my in, my content on the internet and somebody can, will go and learn it. But is that what Elliot has discovered? Okay. And is that correlated to the theory and are they, all the rules and the guidelines are being applied correctly? That's what you know, you're not going to know unless you read the books that he wrote himself. Okay, there's a number of uh, books that he wrote, including the articles that you used to write for some publication. Those articles have got a lot of information. Okay, so let's have a look at this. So this is what we looked at now. S simple, I will still be telling you that we want all-time highs here. To keep pushing higher than this. So let's switch off here. So from when this swing started here, with this impulse, I was just saying, wait for a corrective structure for a pie. Corrective structure for the buy, corrective structure for the buy, pullbacks for the buy, pullbacks for the buy. Even when we did the analysis on Sunday and it looked like it was going to reverse, he said that's a pullback and you look for a buy. So, but here it has gone up so far up, it is quite risky to just get a small correction to enter. You need to get a bit of a deeper correction. And here is actually critical. You don't want to be buying around this area. Because at this area, anything can happen. You can have a pullback as well. But what we want here is for all-time highs. Okay, all-time highs. So look for corrective structures on all the cryptocurrencies. Here you've got a bit of a pullback here. It's a corrective structure. So you can actually enter this one and expect it to come and test the top here. But this is a very short-term trade if you've not been buying from the bottom. It's actually useless to do that uh, right now. Okay, so that is the S&P 500. You can see what the structure is. The Dow is similar to the S&P 500. It's exactly the same thing. Every pullback is an opportunity for a buy. So when this was coming up here to retest this top here, we, we, we could have even made a case for a regular flat to do that, uh, but it looks like it's not gonna do that. And this is all the correction, and this is still gonna push up higher. Okay, let's see what we get here. Even if it does this, it will still be the correct structure to look at. Okay. There's the Dow. So the Dow also, you can see, it was it looked like it was crashing like the S&P 500, but the structure was this expanding flat easy, and then a push higher as expected. So here you've got this one expected to go up. You may even have a diagonal here going up. But we just just look for buys to the upside. So with uh, S&P 500, something that I didn't show as well is that you could be having this is a wave five, one, two, three, four, and this could be a wave five here within this degree. Wave five, one, two, three, four, five, and the bigger wave one, one, two, and then we go for a three, two, and a three. Okay, so pull back here, wave two, and then up. So watch the structure. If it's breaking down here, it is not reversing. It will be pulling back, uh, giving you an opportunity to enter. Same as the uh, S&P 500. The NASDAQ is the same. Only difference with the NASDAQ is that if you look on the daily, 
uh, that whole structure on the S&P 500 that you saw as an expanding flat uh, was not valid for the Nasdaq, but rather the Nasdaq had, had only this corrective structure, this one, two, three, okay? So the S&P 500 started here. So this is not a valid expanding flat. We've got rules and guidelines for an expanding flat to be valid. So that one was not actually right. So we had this pullback. Even if this was coming down here, we expected that it was going to push up higher. Okay. Push up higher for a way forward as well. Okay. We're still pushing up higher. Pullbacks are opportunities to enter. And we're looking for this to push uh, and break. This one is actually right there now. Let's have a look here. It's actually at the all-time highs, at the previous high. It has closed at the all-time highs, and Nasdaq is always ahead. And if you look at this here, even this one here, when we were here, the S&P 500 took quite a long time to come and break this this high here. So the Nasdaq. And if I put them together, you'll see that the Nasdaq has broken up this level first before the S&P 500 did. Let me bring the chart again as well. Uh, bring the two charts uh, in one screen. Let's do that. And that's the NASDAQ at the top. You'll see uh, the S&P 500 at the bottom. And you'll see that the NASDAQ is always ahead. So the bottom here. Uh, bottom, you'll have the S&P 500. Get all of this up, off. Uh, let's have it there. What happened to my chat? Okay, there we go. I want to show you that the NASDAQ is always ahead. That's why you can see that the NASDAQ is now at the all-time highs as anticipated. So even here, watch here. I'm going to switch off here. If you look at this here, where you, okay, let's, let's make this, let's align this. So we've got this year, we've got this year. If you look at this point, the NASDAQ hit the all-time highs at that level. At that point, the S&P 500 had not gotten to the all-time highs. Can you see that? The NASDAQ arrived there first at that level before the S&P 500 could reach that all-time high. So this is actually the structure here. This structure here. If you look at this, the S&P 500 had not touched that level. Look there, it, was, it had not touched. We're actually looking at this, it's supposed to be here, it's supposed to be there. So the S&P 500 was a little bit late and the NASDAQ was ahead. So the same thing here, you've got the NASDAQ already at the all-time highs. S&P 500 has not touched yet, although very close, all right. So we're very close now. Let's see what happens there. Okay, go back to one chart. Do the rest of the indices, the Dow we've done, NASDAQ. Uh, next one is the Nikkei. Now Nikkei, when we looked at that structure, it had the clearest structure of all the indices. We had a 333. Uh, regular flat, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And we expected that we're gonna get uh, this to the all-time highs. This one is still a little bit far uh, compared to the others. So, but here we can see that after the expanding flat, we had a three-wave move here. We have a three-wave pullback. Can this three-wave, can we have something like this and we get another three-wave to the upside? So they, because the other indices are looking upside, we could, have, we could be having that. So you'll see that with the Nikkei, it is the only one that is not trending with the pulsing move. So this is trending in corrective structures. This is WXY to the upside, right? So the market can trend in corrective structures as well. So you've got a three-wave move here. You've got a pullback. This does not have to happen, eh? 
does not have to happen. It can just push up from current levels. So if you keep correcting at this level, that means that this is your one, this is your two, and you're going to get your three, and that will still be your lower degree. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. That's the expectation to take you to the all-time highs. That will be a, a WXY corrective structure. Very clear, these indices. Okay, so the market will not always go, will not always trend in impulses. So remember, an impulse is a five-way move. Okay, and here you don't see a five-way move, you see a three-way move unless something changes. Right, so the UK 100, let's look at the UK 100 and the UK 100, similar, uh, same as well. We also focused that it was going to reverse at current, not current levels, uh, at this point here where it reversed. We expected that it was going to push lower and then push a little higher than that. Okay, so we have now started a move in five waves on the UK 100, like one, two, three, four. This could be ending as a diagonal. Okay, so let's see how that one goes. So that could be a one, two, going for a, for the C. In many cases, it's a C wave, so it will be a one, two, three, four, five move. So you've got a corrective structure here, so this is still gonna push a little bit higher. DAX, let's look at the DAX. Look at the DAX. So the DAX, same also, we are focused, we focused that it was gonna be a three wave correction that reverses in the blue box and push higher. Okay, let's switch off here. So it made the three wave move and we're pushing higher. And this was the move here, it has made one, two, three, four. Looks like a five that is incomplete here. We'll expect this to be a corrective structure for a bit of a push higher. Okay, so let's see if we're gonna get a pullback from there before we push higher. This one is still far from the all-time highs. So let's see how that one plays out. For now, short-term strategy is to look for corrective structure around this level. Let's go for hour, see for short-term trades there. Uh, rather four hour, so going to four hour. That's the DAX there. All right, so that is the UK 100. And you'll be looking for this as a pullback for a bit of a push higher as well. Okay, if I'm, even if I'm drawing this just like this, you need to remember that this is actually a corrective structure and to see it clearly, you need to look at the lower time frame. So it's not just a flag, it's a rather a clear corrective structure when you look at it in the lower time frame. So you could find that this is a three wave move down, this is a three wave move up, this is coming down, gonna get have another three wave move down, and that will look like a flag in the one hour that looks a lot clearer like a corrective structure WXY here. So sometimes I'll just be drawing something like this because I don't, I don't wanna go into the lower time frame. So you can go to the lower time frame to see the actual structure. So it can still pull back like that and push higher. Okay, making this structure here. But on the higher time frame, you look at this as a flag. It looks like a flag. Okay. All right. So that is what you're looking at on uh, the indices. And lastly, the I think we've done the DAX. Have we done the DAX? Uh, the DAX is this one here. So the DAX, we're also looking at this as a pullback. This is a pullback. One, two, three wave back is coming up here. So every corrective structure, you can keep buying. Be careful when you buy here, because this one, two, three, can be, come back here, so one, two, three, and make this corrective structure like this, making this one, two, three, W, X, Y, and a push higher. Okay, so be careful when you buy there. It must confirm it's actually preferable to buy after it has cleared the top. All right, so that is uh, the DAX, and uh, lastly, the Nifty. Nifty looks like it's making a corrective structure for a further push to the upside. Okay, that's the corrective structure, expecting a further upside. So if for you to enter here, you need to get a corrective structure here, current levels for further upside. 
Okay, so let's go to the higher time frame. So somebody made the comment that uh, our, the, the analysis on the Nifty has changed completely. Yes, we do make adjustments. Uh, so what we looked at here, we looked at this corrective structure and expected it to push up higher up to this level. So the expectation was that at this level, we're going to get a pullback, right? Okay, so what we didn't know was how deep was that, was it, what was the pullback going to be? So right here, you remember that we focused that this was going to be a corrective structure, one, two, three here. You see there's a one, two, three there. Let me use a different color. There was a one, two, three wave there. One, two, three wave there. There's a one, there's a two, there's a three wave move there. Uh, there. So we expected that we're going to have the same thing here, one, two, three here. Right, so after that, we expected a pullback. Doesn't mean the analysis has changed. You still have the pullback that is that and if this does not pull back uh then we're gonna then only then we're gonna make an adjustment in terms of the structure but for now we're getting the pullback as anticipated just not as deep as we wanted it to be so and when the structure changes it will give you a warning you won't miss it so here you're getting a corrective structure showing you that even if you're going to get a pullback here this is still going to continue to the upside because of the nature in which it is coming down it is not coming down impulsively it is coming down correctively so if it's coming down correctively that is a continuation pattern right so that is the nifty uh, one of the stocks that we look at for one of the indian traders uh, is uh, sun pharmaceutical so we're still looking at this as a one two three four five one two here and then internally, you're looking at this as a one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, you're gonna have a five, and possibly another four and a five. Four and a five. So it's gonna be one here, two there, three there, four, and a five. Only then will you expect a deeper pullback. Internally here, lower degree, it's one, it's two, it's three, it's four, it's five. Very clear structure. So what are you looking for here? You're looking for this to push up higher to complete this short one here. But you're going to get a deeper one here uh, as, a, as a higher degree with four. Okay, so now let's get into the majors, the US dollar pairs. Let's look at the US dollar pairs. Let's look at Euro US dollar. So Euro US dollar is still coming down as we still, we looked at this as a diagonal last week. We're still looking at this as a diagonal. Okay, still looking at this as a diagonal. And we expected that this was going to come back down here. To the lower boundary here. Why would I expect it to do that? That's because this is a one, this is a two, this is a three, this is a four, and we're expecting this to be a five diagonal. Okay, and then this is a there's a there's a, there's a lower degree here, one, two, three, this is a rounding triangle here, it's a four and a five. So internally here we're expecting this to be a ending diagonal one, two, three, four, and a five. Only after that will we expect a bigger corrective structure here to correct this whole move okay so that will be an a and a b and a c so you see where the whole focus comes from okay so now what do we have here we need to see here are we going to break down here as expected we have a, we've had this pullback slightly we even have had a small buy setup uh, buy setup here during the week during our uh trading session uh to pull back up here even though it flashed out with a with a spike that's fine. So the expectation is for this to come down to the lower boundary to complete the wave three, then back, and then five, and then the big pullback. Let's look at the four hour, or rather, let me show you the structure and the labeling. Uh, let's look at the labeling. So this is what it looks it looks like here. We're expecting this to come down to the lower boundary. And the internal structure here there will be like this. One, two, three, if it gets there, four, five in the lower degree. Let's change the degree there, make it green, minor, or green, minute. So that's just an adjustment. So you can see we're still expecting that that will be a BA, that will be a big correction after that. And that correction is very much tradable if it plays out. Okay, so this move should come with strong divergence. So the expectation is that we're going to have this here. Let's see here. We're going to have this coming down for complete wave three, wave four, five, and then this. And then this B 
corrective structure. Okay, so some will say if this breaks out of the structure, uh, trend line traders will be looking at this as a retest back to the to the structure. But that we look at it a little bit different. It's not just a retest, but rather a corrective structure. Let's just make adjustments, make it look neat. So that's what we look at there, structure there. Five there, internal, five there, higher degree, and the whole thing is an A wave and a B wave. Okay, so that's what you're looking for. So what are we looking for in the next week? We're looking for this to drop to the downside. The only way, one reason why this one drop is if this wave three has ended here and we're making a wave four from there, five from there, and then a big corrective structure. Okay, so for now, let's watch it. Let's see if we're gonna drop, we're not gonna drop from there to come down here. Lower degree, let's look at the lower degree for our. So for our, we already have this impulsive move. This impulsive move does not mean anything, guys, until you get a corrective structure and a move down. Even so, you still need to be careful because that pullback could simply be a three-wave pullback similar to what you have here, one, two, three, and then it pushes high, up higher again. So let's see in the uh, how the market opens with this, if we're going to get that. All right, so DXY, just the opposite of uh, Euro. So if the DXY, if this is the corrective structure on the DXY, it will be the, op it's, it will be the opposite of what the Euro is doing and we'll expect a move to the upside while the Euro drops as expected. Let's watch and see. Okay, so this is still quite low in terms of the RSI. The RSI is still very much to the downside. Let's see how that goes. So we're still in the flag here. We're still in the flag, but we'll expect that this will push up higher. You have this coming down here, you have this diverting to the upside. So this move is very likely. Okay. That's the DXY. Now US dollar CAD. So US dollar CAD, we're still in this corrective structure here. We have broken out, uh, uh, we've broken from this three wave move here. Look for it to come down here to this level, this level here. Okay. And this used like CAD. Now the overall structure on used like CAD is this one here on the daily. We're still looking for this one to possibly go and make a Z. So this is a move down here. This could be the corrective structure that goes retest there and then makes the last uh, Z there. And then this Z will possibly be there. No. So W, uh, let's see a look here. I'm not looking, I need to see the whole structure. Oh yes, so this Z here could be this structure. One, two, three, then we drop. So it looks like after this, we'll expect a, maybe a bit of a push higher, maybe in another three waves again. So because you've got here up in three waves, correction. Let's switch off here so it can be clearer. W, X, Y. There. So if it goes correctively, it means it will come back for one and one and then go. Because that is a continuation pattern. Okay. Looking at this regular flat or an expanding flat, whichever correction it makes from there. Okay. But for now, you will have, you're having this setup. Watch this setup for a push higher. Possibly the previous eye. Okay. So that is a usual care, usual chief. Use the chief expecting continuation to the upside if it keeps correcting here, uh, because simply because of the euro expectation to come to the downside, this should come uh, at least back here to the previous high here. Okay. And the next one is on the US dollar. We'll do the rest of the pound pass. So. The pound pass, as I've been saying, I think it's for the last three weeks now, that they have made corrective structures at a critical area, the critical Fibonacci level. Okay, so this is a corrective structure. So I said here, yeah, this will only push up higher after the break of this. They'll come and do that, and that will be the last move on the pound and before we drop. And they've all got this same structure. 
Now, if you're looking at this on the daily, this, will look, this may look impulsive, but it is not impulsive. It is a three-wave move. This is a move up here. You've got a spike here. It comes down here. It comes back up here. So that is a three-wave move. So similarly here, you've got a move down, a move up, and a move down. So you've got three, three, three corrective structures. So that corrective structure, you'll be expecting it to push higher. Let's look at it in the four hour so you can see what I mean. So what you look what looked like an impulsive move was this year. One, two, three. What looked like an impulsive move was this structure here. So you've got three, three there, and then you're getting this corrective structure here. We don't know what it is building at this stage. Let's, let's have a look here. Move, a move, and a move. And here you're getting this corrective structure one, two, three, one. This one looks like it's gonna come down slightly and make one, two, possibly three there, and a move there, one, two, three, and then that will be a whole corrective structure. Then we should have another three wave move here before we go. That is how complex this one looks here right now. It is a three wave move up that we can clearly see. And then there's an internal structure that is a pulsing move A, B, C. Actually, should have done this in green, like this. So let's see how that plays out. Okay, so this this is still very much corrective within this structure. So if we get that structure looking like that, that will be a W, that will be an X, that will be a Y. Let's see. No clear structure for now, except you can look to take this one down here, if you are an aggressive trader, down here to the lower boundary if we're gonna get any move to the upside. Let's just look here at the labeling. So you'll be looking for a break below this. You've got one, you've got two, you've got three, then down before we go. There's a possibility there for that. That's pound US dollar. Now looking at Audi US dollar, Audi US dollar is a very clear structure. Let's have a look here. Now Audi US dollar, we're looking at Remember the capitulated move in the second and the first trading day of uh, 2019, we had this ending that move. So from there, we've made a passing move, five wave move that we call A day. That is an A move. Okay, we've had a pullback in five, in three waves, sorry. One, two, three. Okay, so that is a B wave. All right. But now, again, we're getting one, two, three waves to the upside. Now, what do we expect in this case? Either this is gonna crawl and retest the top there, or this is complete and we're gonna get another three wave move. That gives us W, X, Y. W, X, Y like that. And that becomes the corrective structure. You started with this scene, this will be the correction, W, X, Y, and then this is what you'll expect. That's C, that's why you see I've got a C wave there. Okay, so that's the expectation. Now, if this is gonna come down in the week, look for a corrective structure for downside. Okay, also remember that this can also do that. So anticipate all possibilities when you look at it. All right. That's Audi US dollar, New Zealand US dollar. So New Zealand US dollar, we're still tracking all those five waves that are indicated uh, a couple of weeks back. All those waves. So if you see this, this is what I've drawn, uh, I think beginning of March. And I expected, it was here, I expected this to come down here. I expected it to go there expecting it to come down there, now expecting it to go up. Now this is the expectation. Now one, two, three wave moves have already played out. We're looking for the fourth one and the fifth one and the sixth one. So if this, if this, all these moves play out, then you'll have no doubt that the Elliott wave theory actually works and the structure and the pattern identification is key to identifying the theory. All right, so that's what you're gonna be expecting. There's a possibility that we drop slightly here. And then we go up, 
down. And then we get this. All right, that is uh, New Zealand now. Even if you're gonna have a cell setup here, it's gonna be very tricky because that cell setup can come and this one goes up because this looks like one, two, three, four, five wave move, okay? And if it's a one, two, three, four, five wave move, let's switch it off, show you why. That will be tricky, that will be impulse A, correction B. If it's a one, two, three, four, five, then it's gonna do a wave five and then goes. So rather stay away from that. Now, US Lazar. Now, US Lazar, let's have a look here. See, my chat did not quite update. Now, I'm looking at this first move here on US Lazar as an ending diagonal. As an ending diagonal. Now, if that is an ending diagonal, that means you're going to have yellow degree there. ABC, let's get ABC there. A, not one, two, three, four, five, ABC. A, B, C. Now you are already having this one coming down correctively. There's likelihood that this, this may reverse and come retest the top there. Come back down, make one, two, three to the upside. And that will be a W, X, Y structure. That will, again, if it risk test the top here, expect it to come down here before it goes. Clear? And if you get a structure like that, that means you've got, this is a three wave move down. That is a three wave move up. Then you're already getting one, two, three, one, two, three. Whether this is gonna be impulsive or corrective will only determine how we label the whole structure whether we label the whole structure WXY or ABC. Whether it's gonna be a WXY or ABC will depend on the internal structure of this one. All right, so that is uh, US dollar Now we can look at the yen pes. Yen pes, look at pound yen. Now pound yen, like all the other pound pes, it has also made a corrective structure here. Now this looks like it's gonna be another corrective structure. Can you do this, that, come back down here? This being the corrective structure, we're still looking for this to push up higher. So this correction may still take a while before we go all the way to 156 that I've been focusing for months. Now I'm still expecting upside here after this corrective structure, like that. Now, how do we trade this now? Let's look at the four hour. We're looking at this one, two, three here. Looks like we're starting another corrective structure. There's a three wave move there, three wave there, three there. This one is only retested there. There's a possibility it can do that. And we do that. And if this is the structure that this is gonna form, this is gonna this is gonna take a while in this corrective structure because now it will have made this three wave move here, another three wave move there. You can see that we've got a three wave move there. X and a Y. And we'll expect a push higher. Okay, all of that will just be a corrective structure. Corrective structure like that, push higher. That is pound yen. Now look out here for this not for this to drop here. If not, you're gonna see that this is gonna start correcting at this level. If it does, then you're gonna look to retest that top there. Not go all the way from there. US dollar JPY, you saw, you can watch last week's uh, analysis on US dollar JPY and you check what the adjustment was. We made an adjustment on this one. So you've got one pullback in three waves. Now we're looking for the same. We're looking for the same. Now, are we gonna come retest here at the top or break it and come back down and then go? Or is this all the correction and we are ready to go? We have made a one, two, three, four, five initial start. So this can pull back and keep pushing back, uh, pushing up higher. 
the structure on this one is very simple and the labeling is quite obvious like that. Okay, W, X, Y, there, and internal structure. You can have, uh, also if you wanted to uh, do this even further, you can put in additional labeling here. Not in that degree, we'll change the degree, make it green, minute. Now you can do the same thing here as well. But this looks like a, this, well, this cannot be a three wave move, cannot be an impulsive move. It has to be a three wave move because you cannot have this being three waves and this being five waves. Let's see how this plays out. We'll still get to the blue box. That is just the JP1. Now look for a corrective structure around this area. I don't expect that after retesting here it will drop, but doesn't matter uh, because that will you will see that beforehand. I'm expecting continuation from there. Euro, also a very clear structure. Let's show the structure in three waves here. You've got one, you've got two. You're expecting more. So the yen pairs are looking rather bullish, at least for now. Okay, one, two, three, pull back and a push higher. Now if you look at this structure, you'll see that we've got a move up here, we've got a running flat here in the lower degree, building up this wave A. Okay, so this will obviously not be an A anymore, but rather a WXY structure. W, X, Y. Right, so that will be in the minor, red minor, and clear like that. All right, now wait for, same, same, for, same as uh, US dollar JPY, corrective structure, our opportunities for buying the next week. They need to clear this first. Let's use the JPY, Chief. Chief JPY, expect further upside here. Chief JPY, expect it to come and retest this top here. Then it would have made one, two, three. Possibility for a down, which is this one. And then a move up higher. Now that would be a B wave in the middle there. And if you like labeling, that would be an A, B, C structure, or rather a WXY structure, WXY, W in yellow, W, X, and a Y. Very clear structures this week, guys. So you can actually trade them. So let's see, you may not get this one to the downside because this may be all the corrective structure here and it is making this one. Then Audi JPY, Audi JPY is um, w one of the most interesting ones. We spoke about this one at length. That is make this corrective structure. We have broken out of that corrective structure. Now wait for a correction here to ride the trend. Wait for a correction outside the flag to ride the trend. And you, can wanna, you may wanna take the snapshot of the uh, labeling there, if that interests you. Now, New Zealand JPY. New Zealand JPY, same, corrective structure, like that. You're looking to retest the top there. You've made a one, you've made a two, you've made a three. Now you're looking for upside. That is New Zealand CAD. So you can see the theme with the yen pairs as uh, forecasted last week is still upside. Now, New Zealand has made this move here, corrective move here. This is actually valid. If you have not taken this, you can still take this at market open and try to ride it up to that level. So you need to be careful again. I have to reiterate, because this can be a one, two, three, one, two, three. Let's switch off here. A pullback and, and then goes. Or this could be all the correction and it makes one, two, three up. 
there is a trade setup here, triggered with the target here. Okay, so that's CAT JPY. Concludes all the year in PES. Now let's look at the silver and gold. We'll start with gold. Now gold and silver are making these corrective structures. Right, so you've got a corrective structure there. We've got a pulse in the correction there. Looks like this has made a pass in the lower degree. Let's see what goes on here. I'm gonna have this one possibly coming here, coming back up, down, up, not with that color, with the yellow, up, before it goes and makes a triangle that we've been forecasting for a long time. Now, let's see how this plays out. So now you're looking for this to correct here and drop at least to this level. Let's look at the higher degree. There will be nothing wrong if this pushes up higher to the top boundary of the triangle. Not above, but it must it must turn there. Okay, let's see how that plays out. So that's uh, gold, silver. Silver is the same. You've got a passing move in three waves. You've made the move down in three waves. You may get a pullback from current levels. That's gold and silver. Let's look at the rest of the pound pairs. As a, uh, I'm gonna run through them quickly because the structure has been the same for the last couple of weeks. So all of them have made this corrective structure except this one now is making this one and may pull back down here. But overall, all the pound pairs have made similar structures towards the end here. Now we're gonna look at it on the four hour on pound chief. Let's look at pound chief on the four hour. So they're all building these corrective structures. They're building these corrective structures. And if this is, these are corrective structures, that means some point this will break to the top. We're gonna move there, we're gonna move there. I don't know what's going on with this move here, whether it's gonna come down here, but it looks like this wants to push out of the structure. First, maybe to retest the top there, come back down and then we go. No specific trade unless you wanna take this short term here and take it back up here. Pound New Zealand, the trade setup is still very much alive that we've been speaking about for the last couple of weeks. So we're still looking at it. Now it has made this corrective structure here for the buy. Now what are we looking at here? I made a few adjustments this morning. Let me take this off. Let's take this off. Let's actually switch off here. So we've got three waves up, three waves back. We're expecting another three waves to the upside. So that was the expectation. So the, the expectation was that this was just simply going to make one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, and then a three. Okay, so it looks like you've got, let's do that with the arrow again. One, two, three up, one, two, three back one, two, three up, even though this looks a little bit shorter or shorter than the others, this could be that and that and then that. And all of this will be a W, X, Y, X, Z structure. If it plays out like that. Now after Z, we'll expect this to drop. We'll expect it to drop. So let's see. There's the labeling there. There's pound New Zealand, pound Audi. So pound Audi, we are in the reversal area. Let's see how this goes. So for this to reverse, it needs to give us an impulsive move, a correction, 
and then it breaks with the upside. If you don't get that, you don't get involved. You need to get a setup for this. Pound cat. Also expecting that this will drop back to this level. First, before we do that. That is pound cat. We can look at the euro pace, starting with the euro pound. Now euro pound is crawling up with this move. You can see that this is correcting the same way that the pound pairs have been correcting. This one is a correction, continuation pattern for downside. Let's switch off here. This is a continuation pattern for downside. You can see my blue box is very close there. So that is the way I anticipate this to reverse. So if that is the case, this can do that and then go. Okay, so look for further up, a bit of more upside here to reach the top there, come back down, upside there, and then downside. Let's see, there's uh, something on the chat box. Uh, somebody's looking at a leading diagonal on pound Audi. All right, so that is a euro pound and the structure that you're looking at here. Look at the euro pace, we're still in the euro pace, euro Audi. So euro Audi, we've made this uh, continuation pattern here. We made a passing move. You can make a corrective structure here and take it up. Remember, we're looking for this move. That is Euro Audi, Euro New Zealand. Euro New Zealand has made a passing move to the downside. So we'll expect this to correct and make a move to the downside. Eurocad, it's another pullback here in three waves. One, two, three. Are we gonna come back down here? Or are we gonna make another three wave making it W, X, Y, X, Z? We wait for this to tell us the correction. It will be a nice trade to the downside actually if this one plays out, because you're gonna take it back here. This is Eurocad, Eurochief. Eurochief has also made a passing move here. You can see there's a corrective structure here and a move down. So one, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then a passing move to the upside. So this is starting to look like a uh, flat correction with three, three, five. A break above this, look for this to go and retest the top here and possibly break it a bit. This Euro Chief. Now let's look at some of the cross pairs, uh, cat pairs and the chief pairs. Audi cat. Audi cat, we had a move here. We had a correction, we had a correction. This is now retesting the top here. This can come down here like this. Let's see. So for it to, so that's what we're looking at. You'll be looking for this to do one, two, three. We started with the passing move, correction, and then another passing move. Then you expect downside. Not very clear short term. What you look out for is a little bit of a push higher. You'll need to watch divergence only on this thing to see if you're going to get any reversal there. That's Audi Cat. Audi New Zealand is very interesting. Audi New Zealand is very interesting because we expected this after the capitulated move. This kept coming down in this three way move. Even though it did not play out exactly in that move, let's switch it off. 
we wanted it to make what it, do what it is doing right now. So at previous eyes, expect a possible reaction for further upside. That's Audi in New Zealand. I think I've shown in one of the videos why we're looking what are we look what we're looking at long term on this structure. New Zealand CAD pull back something like this and then a drop. Uh, and remember New Zealand CAD if you look at it on the daily, the whole thing that is currently happening is correcting the five wave move. We've got one, two, three, four, five, A, B, C. That's what the structure looks like. New Zealand Chief. We've got a passing move here. We've got a correction structure rather. This can come back for one, and then we go. Keep an eye. Audi Chief. We've got a passing move to the upside and the correction. Passing move, correction. Now this one wants to push higher. Can do that. If you get a flag here. Can break here. Or I can break and come back for one. I prefer the first option. And cat chief. The same, still looking for upside, even though this looked like a, a, a three wave pullback. This is still gonna go and break the top there. All right, so I think now we can look at oil. Oil has been doing exactly what we expected it to do. Let's look at it on the four hour. Four hour on oil. So oil, let's switch it on. We have, we have on oil the first swing and this big correction. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Correction. And then one, two, three, four, five. Is this one done? Let's see. Looks like it's got a corrective. It's got a continuation pattern for one more up to the upside here. Okay. So what will this structure look like on oil? It will be A, it will be B, and this will be C. At some point, we need to get a corrective structure. We need to get a pullback. All right. Did I miss any pair? Has all the pairs been done that we're supposed to do here? I think that's it for this week, guys. Good luck trading. Good luck next week. Have a great week, guys. Enjoy it. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and the like button. Cheers, guys. Have a great one. Cheers. Bye-bye.